Okay, now let's get into it. I can overhear you saying, don't go and Google it. Don't go and Google things and bring it on the table. <laughs> I mean, what does that supposed to mean? Um, you are on YouTube platform today. Like, let's say to anyone who is listening to this. Um, so many people on YouTube platform, they didn't just started it just like that. <laughs> so many people Googled it, right? In order to know how to do it. They have to Google it. They have to Google how, what do I need to do to use face, um, Twitter? How do I, um, what do I need to do to be perfect on Instagram? Okay, I know maybe there is books out there written concerning those things. I don't know if I'm not mistaken. But what's wrong with going to Google um, platform is multi-information um, for, let's say, you can research on Google, right? Of course, yes, you can research on the book. And the, there are so many things happening around the world. So how can it reach everyone around the world? Let's take, for, for instance, things happening in Nigeria and you are not in Nigeria right now. And you receive a call, they told you children are missing. Something terrible is happening. And you like, oh my God. You check on the TV, the TV news have passed. Now you went to YouTube, oh, thank God. The um, MSNBC, oh, they posted it on YouTube. Oh, I can see the information on YouTube. Oh, that's good. Look at the information right there. And you grab the information. Oh, let me research it. Let me go to Google and search it. You went to Google and uh, you researched the information. Oh, my God, this is true. Really? Happening right now? Yes, of course. And you went and Google it. And they are telling you, oh, that's not being intelligent. That's not smart. That's not wise. And you are rushing, trying to get attention of the leaders. Please rush. Look at what is happening. So, 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 please. Please, can anyone get this information and begin to search for these children? Oh, with the help of social media. Oh, through YouTube, the information was spread. And people out there was able to get the information. Now, don't go to the Google and Google something and bring it on the table. That's not smartness. That's not intelligence. See? Really? Okay. We don't even want to cherish what technology is doing. If you don't like the good work, let's put it that way, technology is doing for us. Okay. Get out of your car right now. Park your car wherever you are and uh, begin to walk 2,000 miles with leg. Because with this technology, software, hardware, Microsoft, all of them there, trying to put things together for things to move flexible. Now, my question is, who wants to go back to 1920s and 1960s? I did not say you cannot go to the library and pick up book and do your research. That's not what I said. But with the help of Google, I Google it. I was able to move faster than. Meanwhile, the time I Google it, the library was closed. Okay, coming to that, there is no book as of then or that moment written over 300 and 33 students missing in Castina that I will go and research it in the library at that moment. But with the help of Google, I was able to get it. And with the help of Google, the information was passed for leaders out there to save those children.
Well, I have already googled what is happening right now. And they are still telling me, don't go to Google and Google something and bring it on the table. Well, let's check it out. In fact, as a matter of fact, the three specific reasons that technology is good, at least with the help of God Almighty, giving them the knowledge to bring things out there to help people, both those who are poor and the rich, to help even during this time of coronavirus. They have to put things together, share the Chromebooks in order for um, children to be able to do the visual learning. It's part of Seven Life too. Now, talking about these three specific reasons that I cherish so much on what they have been doing by improving medicine, right? That is helping people around the world. That does not mean that there is no local available foods or remedies out there in the village or in any other country. That's not what I mean. They have, you know, keep um, so many people connected. At least um, through the help of even Facebook to YouTube. Um, so many people Googling, you Google about Facebook or you get into Facebook. Let, let me ask, how will you, like, if you don't do those things, how will you know about it? They are connecting people around the world. At the same time, protecting people's accounts against unauthorized access. That people Google information does not mean that they don't read books or that they don't study. Now, the third one is that they are providing education and also entertainment, at least. You, they're Googling music, Googling songs, knowing about um, people who are out there singing, at least healing people's soul, uplifting people out there. And you are telling me, don't go, don't, don't go and Google stand something. Don't go and Google something and bring it out there you know, and give us the information. Come on now. Even you that is sitting right there, you are sitting inside the YouTube. I mean, inside the Google, you are sitting inside there. Like, without the Google himself and the YouTube you say, um, himself, you will not be able to post whatever you want to post and share out there. Let's assume in now, Nigeria want them to shut down the social media. They shut down everything. Let them shut down everything. We will not hear nothing. Nothing that is going on unless maybe you watch the news or watch TV. When the TV time pass, you wait tomorrow to watch it again. If they will bring it out there again tomorrow. But with the help of YouTube, they were able to post it there. At least those that didn't watch the TV in the morning hearing the news can get it later in the evening inside the YouTube. And you are telling me, stop Googling information and bringing it out there. But anyway, I don't need to um, say much on this. Like I said earlier, for those who don't cherish the car they are driving now, drop it right there and walk with barefoot. You don't like the shoe you're wearing, the slippers you're wearing, remove it. Walk with your barefoot. No problem. I don't see the reason why I should lie. Whereas I went to Google and Google the information, why should I lie? I should cover it up that I did not go to Google. But we have saved life. 
Yes, they saved the life of those children, at least by passing the information, right? Sharing it out there on YouTube, Googling it out, calling the attention of the leaders to know what is happening around the world. Don't you know that if we don't do all this work, how would they know? Sometimes the leaders are busy doing another work or another job that they're supposed to do. But by calling their attention, they will take action immediately, which they did by saving the life of the, the science student in Nigeria, Castina State, through the help of Googling it. So like I said, I just Google it again. So if you have anything that will help people out there, save life, educate people, Google it out. Share it on the table so that life will be saved, people can learn, and we move forward flexibly without any problem. So there is nothing wrong by Googling things or Googling information. That does not mean that you are not smart. That does not mean that you are not intelligent. That does not mean that you are not brilliant. At least it's called research. Every research must not come from only one place. Yes, you can research on the books. You can research on the newspapers, TV, or anywhere. But... I did not commit any crime by telling you where I googled the information inside Google. There is nothing wrong with it. So I thank you all for clicking. And thank you all again for knowing the reason why I google it. So that we can save life faster. And the life of those children we are saved. Thank you so much for clicking, like, comment, share, and also Google it to bring good information on the table so we can share it and teach also those who don't have the information at hand. There are a lot of people out there who want to learn, but they don't have the equipment, there is no technology in their village, no light, no internet, but they are trying to put all this around the world so that movement can be flexible. Cherish the good things. Cherish what technology, the help they are giving us. It's very important. Thank you all. I remember this. I still remember who I am the African queen, the Igbo girl from the village. Thank you all. Bye-bye.